BMAX Breaks is back. What's up, everybody? My BMAX family. Great to see you. Thank you so much for coming through and supporting the channel. It means a lot. Today, we're going to get into some recent local card shop pickups. Um, well, it's funny. This isn't local, nor is it recent. <laughs> but we finally have found some time to put it together and get it out to you guys. This is a neighboring state where I visited and I went to the local card shop. Not only that, but uh, this was also six months ago. <laughs> so uh, anyway, yeah, I got some pretty sweet pickups and the, the prices that you see on each top loader is not the price I paid. It was definitely overpriced, but the shop owner was super awesome. Uh, I went back, actually, I went like twice to get more. A very fair negotiator and he cut you some amazing deals so uh, big ups to them so we're, we're gonna get into it so I do believe though that I did overpay for these but you know at the time I was pretty hyped on some hockey as we all know and uh, so for this entire lot though I did get it for $50 so I thought that was pretty fair, especially with with his prices being being uh, such as 15 bucks. I don't know most of these guys, but I do love my young guns, and I'm pretty stoked to have them. Anyway, let's get into it. Rasmus Sandin Young Guns, Lucas Carlson Young Guns, Brandon Gignac Young Guns. These are all Young Guns, okay? Vitek Venacek. We have a Jansen Harkins, Mikey Anderson, Alexander True, Michael DePietro, JC Buden, Ryan Lindren, Brady Keepers, so stoked about that one, Shane Bowers, go Avs, Alexander Romanov. Uh, this was one of his, his biggest pieces. He had a list for 30 bucks. So I definitely did not get it for 30 bucks. I'm thinking maybe I got it for like 20, 25. These were mostly like two to five dollars, I think. Cause I got this one, plus this banger coming up next. Bang, Quinn Hughes. He had it listed at a hundred dollars. I got it for significantly less, obviously, because I got all of these for 50 bucks. So I just feel like it was a smoking deal. Smoking deal. But the Quinn Hughes was definitely by far the biggest Young Guns purchase. And so I had to basically get everything else that he had and that I liked. And so we got to, came up with a good deal. So if there's any like big time players in this that you know of, uh, let me know, let me know, I'll be curious. So there's that. So next up, uh, we have another little lot. So a Keldon Johnson lot. As you can tell, he has these listed pretty crazy as well. But we got the whole lot for 35 bucks. So, Kelton Johnson, base optic rated rookie. We got four of those. Then we get a silver prism optic rated rookie. Kelton Johnson, so as you can tell, 70 bucks, but I got this all for 35. We have the uh, pink prism optic rated rookie. And then a Blue Laser Optic Rated Rookie. So, pretty sweet little collection. Uh, I don't have much basketball, but I do know that this kid's a stud and uh, it's a pretty good investment. So once PSA smartens up and opens back up to take care of us normal individuals, then uh, I will send these in for grading. But uh, if you thought those were pretty amazing, you're gonna like what's next. You're going to like what's next. So my biggest purchases from this visit is such. Firstly, we have a Bob Clemente, AKA obviously Roberto Clemente. <laughs> Look at this, this is some true vintage stuff. Beautiful, from 1953. You know, it is pretty worn. You know, the service is worn. I don't know what this would grade, I don't quite care. Uh, it's one of his most iconic cards, and I do love me some vintage. 
as you can tell, uh, 250 bucks was the price tag. I did not get it for 250. I do not remember what I got it for, but it was not $250. No way, no way, it was a... Uh, here we go for the next one. We have a 1968 Tops PSA Slab. The Bob Clemente VG3 bag. Another very iconic Roberto Clemente card. Obviously vintage. So I, th these are my very first two Bob Clemente, Roberto Clemente cards. <laughs> I've been anticipating this for the longest time to show these off to you guys because I know many of you would appreciate these pickups. And uh, here we are. Pretty stoked about it. You know, it is worn for sure. But yeah, the corners are pretty soft. I guess VG3 is pretty fair. But yeah, he had this listed for 100, I think. And I got it for 80. So, not bad one bit. And last but not least, my very favorite. My goal is to get a PSA 10 of this one day. We have 1993 tops. Derek Jeter, PSA 9, Topps Draft Pick Rookie Card. Boom, this is my favorite purchase of the visit. And I walked away happy camper and got some smoking deals. So be sure to drop a comment, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. Let me know what your favorite card was. Let me know your thoughts. Just say what's up. That's it for now. Until next time, everybody. BMAX, Brakes, loves ya, and we out. Hey.